So you've been hired to do some balloons at a party and you want to put some games in there too and add a games package as well. I've got some brilliant games you can add in to your party package. Hello, my name is Joy slash Fairy Liquid from the magical land of Jing Jang Ju Jong, helping hopefully to entertain you as you entertain kids. Yeah, I've already done a video about when a client comes up to you in the middle of a booking and goes, but where are the games? When they haven't booked you for any games and just some things that you can pull out of your sleeve that you can still carry on doing, those games can happen around you without you actually stopping from what you're doing. But these are balloon themed games for when you don't have a line of people to do any more balloons for. Well, well depending on the age of the children, I could do a ballooning masterclass. Now that basically is teaching the kids how to make their own balloon sword. <laughs> Note, works best on age eight plus. Under that age, they tend to look at me and they're like just standing there with their balloon. Also, remember, you've got to have time. You've got to pump everybody up a balloon and it may take a long time to get them all done. So this is really something that I would have to be pre prepared to do because I would need all the balloons done. But if it was just say like six children or maybe these kids have finished their food earlier or something like that and they're coming to me and and um, they're itchy to be entertained, maybe they're a bit older, then I would blow them up a balloon, give them a balloon, and then show them how to make a balloon sword. And to do that, well, of course, we've got all the tutorials here and you know how to do it. But what I would do is I would just turn my back slightly to them and do it like this because uh, most, most likely they're right-handed and then it's just easy for them to sort of, you know, copy what arm's moving and what arm's not. <gasps> so I'd get them all to make a balloon sword. They will ask to do harder stuff. And I would say, sure, if we have time and if you can do this. And then that usually by the end of the saw, they, most of them are like, this is actually trickier than what I thought. <laughs> and they won't want to bother with the dog. Another idea is balloon hockey or golf. So once they've got their swords, they just turn them upside down. Usually there are round balloons at parties and they can just go hitting around those balloons. And if you actually got your hands free and you feel like you could give this some more organisation, then what you could do is maybe make a couple of goals out of chairs. Maybe put a chair at one end and a chair at the other. Divide the children up into teams and have them play hockey to see if they can get that balloon in the goal. Another balloon related game is the jumping mouse relay. So in the show notes, you can find a link to my jumping mouse video where you pull back the mouse and poing, it pops off and you have two teams uh, who've got to race against each other. They've got to go around maybe the chair and come back again. Or it might be that you decide just to take two children per team and it's much shorter then to get the ages even and the sizes even and the numbers even on either side is quite a task. It's not impossible, <laughs> it just takes a little bit longer. So it could be more of a spectator game, that one. And of course, you can always have a magic trick up your sleeve. So I'm gonna do a separate video for that where I go through some easy magic tricks you can always have with you, which don't take any practice. Of course, you can use balloons as prizes, yay. So you can actually easily put together a whole completely balloon related party and have lots of fun. The more you do it, the better it will be because you will know what works and what doesn't work. Of course, though, every party is a bit different. The venue is a bit different. The atmosphere is a bit different. The children are different. The ages are different. So all these variables as children's entertainers, we always, always, always are on our feet thinking and juggling in our head how to do things best and what's going to be best for that particular event at that time. Do hope this helped you. Lots of notes and other videos referred to in the show notes below. And if I can help you in any way, being the best entertainer that you can be, I would love to be part of that journey for you. I've had 20 years experience, well, more than that, running kids clubs and parties and I just want to be able to scoop out everything that's in here and just pass it on because, because why reinvent the wheel? Because if it helps you to put on a top event, that's brilliant. See you in the next video.